Hi, I'm Real Genetic Demon, and this is Golden Axe on the Sega Master System. Um, it's not quite as refined as the Mega Drive version, but uh, it's okay. You get to play one character, but you'll you'll see. Um, only the one character you get to play as, which is basically Axel, but you get to choose the magic. So that was, I think his magic was Thunder, wasn't it? Uh, fire was the, the Amazons, and the, the, the Dwarfs was uh, the Earth magic. So, um, we'll go with this standard magic, I think. We'll go with the, we'll go with the Thunder magic, because, um, well, it seems obvious to, to, to do that. So, or was it the other way around? Was he Earth and the, the, the Dwarf was Thunder? I can't remember. Might be the other way around. Do apologise if I've got that the wrong round. But we'll go with Thunder anyway. It's the easiest one to collect the maximum for. To be fair though, Fire's quite nice when you get the whole dragon thing going on. Oh, tough choice of choice. Let's go with Thunder. So, um, we've got Chop and we've got a Jump. And then the two buttons together do the magic, which I didn't mean to do so early on. So there we go. Thunder magic, away it goes. That's the same sort of manoeuvres that... that, that, that uh, you had on the uh, the the the, uh, the 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 mass the, the Mega Drive version, um, same sort of chop and throw, and the music's similar as well. It's not too far off. Less characters on screen, not bad sprites really considering. Limitations of the smaller system, so 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 you can kind of you can kind of see that they've done they've made a reasonable effort. Chop chop chop. Right, let's get on a bit. I always quite like this one. The, 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 I think it's the, the last guy's called Death Adder. Um, and he's kind of holding the kingdom to ransom, if I'm right, for some reason. He's not a very nice dude, anyway. That's the general gist of it, is that he's not a very nice fella. Um, very pink, aren't they? Or just me? Yeah, you get on the floor. Yeah, it's this little swingy thing, this thing. Oh, just chopped, mate. Timed that wrong. I'm having that then. I'm having your little horsey thing. Oh, it's run off. I've died. Yeah, I'll punch you a couple of times. The levels, I think, are very similar as well, design-wise. These are little, um, little, little magic dudes that drop, drop portions to allow you to increase your magic. So, so I've now got level three magic. Level four, I've got the full magic. Oh, been hit by him. Or her, sorry, on the back of her. Get off. I think all characters could ride the things around, not just not just the, 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 that lady there. I'd like to get to the first bad dude before I lose my life. Pretty close to losing my life already. Yeah, get chopped. I seemed to be miles off there I was chopping, wasn't I? Just the tip of the sword touching them. I'm sure he's called Axel. Could be wrong. Or was it Axe? One of the two. Here you go. Have some full magic. Zap! Oh, they're chopping me now. Is he not dead? Wow. I thought he'd be dead after that. I'm so close to death. Go on, die. I think I did it. And then you have a little sleep at night, and you get up, and you, there's a little one of these little dudes knocking around. So you go, oh, I'm going to kick you. These little limps. And he's ran off before I got it. Yeah, a death adder. That's the fella. He is the man that you want to do. Our sworn enemy is in his castle. We must get there through the turtle village. So there's like this map that you work your way through. It's like a turtle in the middle there. So this is Turtle Village, we're at now. I'm not going to last long though, with no health. I think he's dead. Let's jump across here. I guess the limitations are here. That's the big issue. There's a lot of limitations with the, with this the, with the with Master System, and, they, and 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 this is one of these games that was. Um, by Sega, that Sega put this out on the arcade as well. They used their own proprietary hardware for it, which actually was a combination of the the the, the I think it was the Mega Drive actual cartridge with a few alterations. But let's be honest, it was almost the identical version from one to the other. 
Oh, I'm going to continue once, I think, and that's it. Because just because we good, because that was just a short run there so far. So we're going to go a bit further. The character sprites aren't too bad. I, I'm just thinking the background's a bit lacking. Oh, there's first dragon. There's handy. We'll get on him, and he does that. Yes. Yeah, I'll teach you. You can charge with these things as well, like that. Uh, no, don't hit me. I want my dragon. Ah, I got you. Got you. It's always great with two players as well. You get your mates around, and then you sort of... You you know you have to fight over who who's who. Actually, to be fair, it was that was pretty good. The, ca the characters are pretty pretty good. You could you could you didn't really fight. Let's be honest, but but it but you could have done. Um, yeah, there you go. I whacked me off the back of there when I wasn't looking. He might run away as well if I do that. Yeah, of course he did. Flying chop. Oh. Now, I watched recently, watched uh, um, Linux Retro Beast playing this. I'll put a link in the description actually to his uh, his uh, playing it on the on the on the Mega Drive. He didn't just do well; he finished the entire game without a single continue, which is quite quite impressive, really. Um, he worked, worked his way all the way through. Uh, and the thing that I, struck me is I forgot at the end that you get a kind of a, like a little end sequence about what goes on, and you get uh, a credit roll of all of the, the all of the hench people that are in the game. Which you know, it's, I don't know if that's the first game that ever did it, but it was the first one I remember seeing doing the hench roll. Sort of you know, oh, so you know, um, Sebastian, the 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 the, 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 the yeah. I don't know, whatever it is. Sebastian the Skeleton, maybe. And and, and um, Amy the Amazon or something. But, but, but I, those are real names, obviously. But that's the kind of thing it would have floating past. And they'd all be sort of posing at the end, which is quite cool, actually. I quite like that. Um, and it was quite... It, it was it was one of my sort of go-to games, and mainly on the uh, Commodore Amiga, actually, rather than the, the, rather than the, the Mega Drive. However, I did play it on the Mega Drive quite a bit. Anyway, um, I'm going to leave it there. Oh, look at what class I got. I've got class D, just over class E. I'm brilliant, aren't I? Anyway, so <laughs> so that's Golden Axe on the uh, Sega Master System. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye-bye now.